past doctor. When we say naturopath doctor, in other words, he doesn't deal with all of those chemicals. He, he heals you and deals with you naturally. He has many specialities. Um, he has a lot of testimonies on his curing of cancer. And this morning, in, I think it was sometime last year, we spoke about, um, I had interviewed him about diabetes sugar, which has become a national epidemic. And today we will be talking about high blood pressure. So Ted, welcome to the Spiritual Vibrations program. We got disconnected. I have to try again. Are you there, Ted? Okay. Good to hear you. Welcome to the Spiritual Vibrations program once again. I know that you always make yourself available, and I really give thanks for that, Ted. Um, this morning, I'm asking you, Ted, I tell you something. I am so tired of hearing people saying that they have, may have pressure or may pressure high. And we know that that is not something that is not like it's not like one of those diseases that a mosquito bite you or something that is preventable it is something that you have given to yourself can what? you get what? into that with me please Ted I didn't hear that last part okay I'm saying that um, high blood pressure is not one of those diseases that like a mosquito bite you like something like malaria and you get high blood pressure it is something that you did something that you are doing wrong that you continue to do wrong but in other words it's your fault yes but let's let's not put the blame let's not make it a blame thing let me say good morning to your listeners wherever they are and uh, welcome to this very informative provocative and very honest um show Sister P, I appreciate you uh, having me on. It's an honor. But let me talk about, let me address this thing of um, heart, heart disease or heart condition. If, if one should go and um, Google or YouTube me, they'll see something on there, heart disease in women. They can click on it and um, they will... Uh, listen and hear how serious this problem is and the reason why heart disease is such a um, serious thing because it's not the heart causes itself to go bad other organs that are damaged before the, the, the heart itself could go bad one would have to abuse the small intestine which um, would be the partner to the closest partner to the heart. So if a person, a patient comes to me with heart disease, I first think I would go to the digestive system, mainly the, the not just selection and preparation and consumption of food, but also the condition that you are uh, in, that engine of yours, that digestive engine is in, to facilitate and take the burden away from the respiratory and circulatory system. That might sound like a far-fetched thing, but we are what we eat. And the, the heart is just um, a part of the circulatory system, even though its overall function has to do w with the entire organism, with the entire human body, because we need blood, we need... 
Did we get cut off again? Wow. Cassidy, I don't know what's happening here. We're getting cut off again. Let me um, let me try again. This is, this is, I don't You're tuned in to Spiritual Vibration. We're connected. Ted, are you there again? I don't know why we keep I am, getting this. I am, I am yes. here. Yes, okay. So, so you, as I was saying, mm -hmm. you have, when you're talking about the heart, you have hypertension, that's high blood pressure, as you have hypotension, which is low blood pressure. Low blood pressure is by far more dangerous, and you don't hear much about it, but it's a silent killer. So if a person is talking about heart, the condition of heart, you cannot just rule out and say it's about heart, high blood pressure. You have to see the entire function of the heart, which is controlled by the intestines, small and large. Because the large intestines correlate with the lungs, and the lung is where you get oxygen from. Without optimal oxygenation, the heart doesn't survive nor function well. Are you seeing it? Yes, I am. And no, I hope listeners the are. Blood, the blood quality, blood is made first in the small intestines or by the small intestines. Well, that blood is related to the heart. So the quality, viscosity, thickness, dryness, wetness of the blood, all saltiness, sweetness, all has to do with how the heart cells, the heart muscles, the heart vessels would function. So it's not just to be talking about high blood pressure because a person eats a particular way. Uh, also, telltale signs, lots of them that people ignore for their mouth. So they feel a certain way, they run to the doctor and the doctor is going to check them and he's going to give medication. Well, that has nothing to do with correcting the disorder. Absolutely nothing. The doctor is trying his best what he knows how, but still it is not about healing of the heart. In order for you to heal the heart, you have to change your lifestyle. You have to go back from acidic things that would damage the heart muscles and deprive them of nourishment and let them maintain their strength and, and, and functioning ability. You just don't say, hey, I have high blood pressure, let me go and take medication because that has absolutely nothing to do with correcting the heart problem. There's nothing wrong if you're doing something on a temporary basis, but not be fooled by a medical doctor to think because you're taking pressure pills or some aspirin that overthins the blood one time or another and can be very dangerous while it is helping you on a temporary basis. You don't want patients to think that having an aspirin a day is the end all and the be all of heart disease. It's a lie. And that has to be changed. Information about the heart condition has to be more by all medical providers. It's not enough. People are just told to take medication and take it easy. That is not the answer to heart disease. And they ask, I, if, if I may call out some of the, 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 the telltale signs of, of, of heart disease, of the heart, and what it does, that people will know these signs that they've been ignoring. 
if I am so privileged, I, I don't mind doing that at all. Well, Are you there? We, yeah, oh, yes, we would certainly appreciate that, Ted, because it's all okay. about teaching. You For know, instance, it's... when a person is going through um, emotional uh, stress, they're just told they're going through emotional stress and they get a medication for that. Well, there's no medication for emotional stress. They can give you something to, to sedate your, your, your anxiety, to slow you down, but that is not correcting the problem. No, absolutely not. Are you not. getting what I'm saying? Oh, yes, absolutely okay? not. Yes. Shock, it's a nervous it. tension, stress, neurosis, over-anxiety. You know, poor appetite, restless, lack of memory, un anxious, timid. All and, of you those know, these things. are all signs that people ignore or they run to the doctor with these these one one um, symptomatic things and the doctor is gonna give them medication and send them home. Well that is not the answer to, to hypertension nor hypotension. You've got to clean up the entire digestive system and change the condition that the pH level back to a more, uh, up to a more alkaline state and do some exercise so that you can get oxygen into the system so you can discharge waste material and take nourishment to the cells so that things can happen in a positive way. Anything else is myopic, it's foolish, it's unwise, whatever you want to call it. It is not medicine. Ted, can I ask a question here, please? We know yes. sometimes we tell people to clean up and we tell them that your, your body is too acid. What are some of the foods that are found locally that we can say, okay, those foods are alkaline and we need to be eating more of them? Ah, ah when people brag that they eat when people brag that they eat festival and fried chicken and potato chips and the, 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 the pork and the cow foot and the whatever they're eating and the, 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 the curry goat and, and cheese and the amount of cheese and butter and white bread and white sugar, those are all acidic things. Jamaica has the highest rate when it comes to consumption of overly acidic foods. It's Antigua and Jamaica. Antigua is the sickest, and then Jamaica is in line. WHO says that. So we're the sickest country in the Caribbean, the second sickest in country the, in, in the Latin America and the Caribbean when it comes to non communicable diseases. Antigua, little Antigua, heads the list. And second in line is Jamaica. No, we have all these vegetables here. We have carrots, we have pumpkin, we have squash, we have callaloo, we have cabbage, we have corn, we have ground provision, we have all these things, but we leave those things being in a hot Caribbean and we go to the more acidic thing that keep the body hot and stagnated. Once the body is stagnated like that, it is going to store cholesterol where in the organs and also in the vessels so i in guess if vessels, we were not just on the walls of the vessel but in the tissue of the vessels causing hypertension the other thing is clogging up of the kidneys the liver and the kidneys with the same fatty things would cause even more so a hypertensive or hypotensive reaction with the, the organ the, 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 the heart so we're just not paying enough attention and t every Sunday you can pick up the game and you see the amount of people dying in our country from hypertension yes. and hypertension and cancer. And it's not really a big thing to correct, but the greed, the deprivation, the anemia, because you're eating these fatty larger molecules causing the body to be stagnated the body is not being fed water food now oxygen optimally so that's why we have so many sick people at this, uh, this island of ours and the country is suffering people just people not producing they're not performing they're not working and if they get a job 
they can't perform because it's more sick, more to hypertension than you can imagine. And just be telling people they're hypertensive or hypertensive. I know it's almost I, I say it now as if it's almost something that we take pride in. But question question for you, Ted. I remember I w- growing up in Jamaica, I don't remember people having all of this heart problem and high blood pressure problem. But you said that we're the second sickest country in the which is Lat- which includes South America, um, South America and the Caribbean. Is it because is there anything i i always have this thing about this eating this fried chicken is there a relationship do other because i do not believe that in these other countries that people are consuming all of this fried chicken and jerk chicken i don't think so uh not as much as we down here are doing you know they claim that we're behind god's back but yet our tech technological skills are up there with any country right we can do any damn thing jamaica is one of the most progressive countries you have anywhere per capita all people are super wise and super talented just imagine if they were being fed optimally and they have a force strain to strain the, the mind and body to do these wonderful miraculous thing that we do with a limited functioning mind and body just imagine how much greater this nation could be but our people are malnourished this is why we have so many diabetics around poor circulation poor digestion anemia and when you talk about the heart sister p yes you have more to deal with than just the heart itself you have the triple heater. You have the heart constrictor. Those are organ systems that we need to deal with. Because guess what? When somebody just tell you have high blood pressure, and low blood pressure, as I'm saying, it's not just the organ heart. It's the whole organism is affected when the heart is not doing well. So it's not something for us to be taken lightly. Doctors need to research more, right, about the natural way of doing things because their way, their method only help on a temporary basis. While we are grateful to our medical doctors and our scientists, we are eternally grateful. They need to come up more with the real McCoy because the information is out there. You Google any damn thing you want today. The information is there. But our people are influenced by our medical doctors. And they need to put up more when it comes to education. And educating people the truth. Rather than saying, hey, they're saying there's some foolishness. There's no scientific thing behind it. That's a lie. And that big lie has to stop. This is hurting our nation. I know there was one doctor who told me, you know, he told no, me that you, if... you, you talk to me. Call me back to you. 10, 15 minutes? Yes, I'm listening to you, sis. Yes, um, a friend of mine who is a doctor told me once that if a patient came to him and he said, well, you know, there's really nothing wrong with you, the patient would say that he's not a good doctor if, they, if he didn't give them some pills. So uh-huh. he got into the habit of giving them aspirin because yes. they felt that, you know, if... If they came to him and, and, and they said, well, doctor, but you're not a good doctor. You're not giving a medicine. You know, he said that he would have to actually give them some aspirin or something for them to feel that he was a good doctor. Listen, you know Dr. Arthur Green, right? Yes, my good friend. Let me tell you, it's one of the honest medical doctors you have anywhere. Yes. And this man, if it's not necessary, he will talk to you. Well, just like Donovan White, Dr. White or yes, Avendry yes. or, or those that. Those are people that we really need to, to commend on their courage because they are trying their best to give our people both sides. It gives them, you know, the option or why not using both sides? Because we need nutrition, but people must be properly and thoroughly educated from birth yes. about proper nutrition. This morning while I was on, 
Ted, excuse me, when I was on my way here this morning, I saw a little girl that was no more than maybe about four years old, and what she had in her mouth, her, um, she was given this lollipop on her way yes. to school. And I mean, it's that like... I'm acid right there for child. But, but, don't they, but don't they sell the same lollipops right outside of our school? They sell the same poison right outside of our schools. Well, let, you know, right. it, it's funny because school is supposed to be a place of education, but it seems that the only education the that they think of is some academic education and has nothing to do with nutrition because basically the things that are being sold at the school gate, they're poison. They're poisoning That's the right. children. Listen, listen, sugar, sugar have a tendency to destroy vitamins and minerals. So if a child has breakfast, or barely have breakfast because they can't afford but so much of it, right? Or have the best, best be breakfast because they, 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 they can't afford. Once they get to that school gate and they start buying up all these sweet sweets, they void the entire meal, that breakfast that they had, yes. or lunch. Because sugar is going to destroy the vitamins and minerals that they need. Now, you have a child now that is predisposed to every kind of sickness you, you can imagine. And then they continue school, go to college, and by the time they finish university, they're sick as hell. Yes. And yes. cannot pre perform for the, for the country. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You know? We see that but, every day. I beg your pardon? I said we see that every day. Yes. So it is, it is really what the people are consuming. They are frying bread fruit. Well, who the hell wants to eat fried bread fruit? Why would somebody fry a piece of bread fruit and eat it? Bread fruit is a, an absorption, a, an absorbing um, 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 food. Once you put it in oil, it's going to suck up all that oil. That oil is going to go into your liver. It's going to be pushed up to the, the adrenal glands. And that is going to let your immunity down. It's going to damage your kidneys. And then what is going to happen? It's going to put pressure on your heart. Once the kidneys are malfunctioning, the heart is going to suck up. So, so fried foods, fried foods are definitely foods our enemy. And also the amount... The amount and quality of cheese the people of this country consume each day, each week, each year, along with the sugar. They must have hypertension. They must be diabetics. And people tell them, oh man, that, that has nothing to do with it. It's the parents who had it, and you must catch it. That's a lie. That's another lie. I know that. That is something That's that people say all, all the time. Those who are, who, all those who are listening around the world on this interview, folks, that is a lie. Yes, I've always okay? known that. It's an untruth. It is not like that. We must exercise and we must stay in the alkaline state blood-wise because, again, we are not in the winter places like United States and, 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 and Europe and those cold places. We're in the Caribbean. We eat too much hot food. When I say hot food, food with oil or food that convert, like your carbohydrates, they convert to fat and they're stored they're stored in the liver, and whatever goes in the liver will go to the various organs and glands and cells. You don't have to be a rocket scientist for that. So it is the diet that must be adjusted or corrected, but must start at an early age with our children. Hence my schools that I will build with or without any help of anyone. I will do it by God's grace and will. Mm -hmm. I as a matter of fact, way, you yes. know, as a matter of fact, you know, that's why I'm doing the, the cooking show, me and Marcia Griffiths, we're do, getting ready to do this cooking for better health on TV, international cooking. We must teach our people how to cook all over again and cook for health, cook for better health, not just cook for sentimentality, not just cook for, hey, this is what we want to eat today, no matter how sick the body is. You know you're having digestive challenges, but the things that you eat that upset your stomach, you go and take a chance and eat them anyway. Okay? <laughs>
Like the peanut, like the peanut porridge that you all cook here. Now, who, who in their right mind would want to eat peanut porridge? That is laced with acid. That's all acid. Why would you want to do that? Or the banana porridge, and you sweeten it with condensed milk, or you sweeten it with sugar and condensed milk. That doesn't make sense. Like the people and who drink Cersei tea look, and, sweet, and sweeten it with sugar. Same thing. Oh, my assessment, Sister P, mm -hmm. and you know my evaluation technique is relatively on target. Out of every 10 persons I see, I see 8 to 9 persons who are predisposed diabetics or diabetics already. Yes. Are hypertensive because they go together hand in hand. Yes. Along with the di uh, diabetes, hypertension. So I am saying here to you, it's about a food thing. I would like to share with your, your, your listening and viewing um, um, audience my, my blog. And they will see what food, just shifting the diet has done, that no human being on earth can refute what I have done, because I've done it without even an aspirin. And my blog is Emmanuel's site. That's Emmanuel with one M, S-I-T-E, one word, dot, word, press, that's W-O-R-D-P-R-E-S-S -S dot com. Emmanuel site dot WordPress dot com. And you will see the many men, and we haven't even started yet. We haven't even reached 10% of the amount of cases that I have eradicated or reversed or corrected, whatever you want to use, without even an aspirin. So what's the big deal? Ted, it seems when, when, um, when will your um, cooking program be starting? Well, we've got, we found the, the kitchen, we found the location, and that's where our new center will be, okay? okay. And um, it will be promoted on my website, and it will be announced in the media. It will, it will be in the news. Okay, but what's your Facebook soon. page? It's on Facebook, it's on Twitter, it's on my blog, and uh, we are really excited about this show because it's going to be different. What's your Facebook it, page, Ted? I beg your pardon? Your Facebook page. My Facebook page is uh, um, Ted Emmanuel. Um, Ted Emmanuel. Yeah, Ted Emmanuel. Okay. Yes. Um, and my, my Twitter is Emmanuel1. Ted Emmanuel1. Are you get that? Yeah, yes, I have that. Yes, I do have that. Well, Ted, okay. we're, yes, we're out of time, but I hope for us to keep in touch, and I can definitely see, because I do have some friends who come by, and they're meat eaters, and whenever I fix something for them, they're totally amazed, and in fact, they said, well, if they knew how to fix things like that, then they would really be eating differently. So... I think it is now up to me and part of my responsibility to possibly hold some cooking workshops because people really don't know, you know. We will be teaching cooking also at the center, cooking classes and workshops and so forth. And that will be announced very shortly. But let me just say to the, to the audience, food is life, energy, and intelligence. And without food, sickness can never be definitively cured nor corrected i'll leave it and i'll close at that thank you ever so much ted and we will and, definitely and, be and remember we have all the things here we just are not cultivating them we can grow things here that our farmers need to tap in on rather than us importing things you have a nice day and peace and love to you sister ted one quick question about how much a pound is it for pumpkin seeds for pumpkin seeds? Yes. How much a pound? Yes. You have any idea? I, I have no idea, but pumpkin seeds are very good. I know. For you. I as know. As all, 
as all seeds are. Just depends on who's using them and how they're being utilized. Okay. Thank you ever so much, Ted. Have yourself a blessed day. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Presently, you are listening to the spiritual vibrations with your host, Sister B. All tune in, including he, she, and the old lady. Styles FM to the world, world. How the party a looks? Da. How the party a looks? Rum by rum, in association with Sellers Night Club, presents Portland Spring Break, the beginning edition. Sunday the 24th of March, 2013, at Sunshine Beach, and you don't know a port and tone of that. Music by Jam Rock Sound, Jojo Royal from RGR, DJ Anil, and DJ Mookie from Styles FM. Admission drink all you can, for a grand, that's a thousand dollar. Crawling up this room by room, Spring Break, 2013. Ticket outlet, Sellers Kitchen, and Bullos Shoe Store. You can't miss this one. Want to step out in fine style? Then visit Palette's Collection. We specialize in a wide array of garments and accessories from men's Italian suits, blazers, ladies' and children's dresses, handbags, men and ladies' shoes, to perfumes and gift sets. We also have comforters, rugs, and housewares. Palette's Collection, your first stop for the best quality suits in Portland. Shop 2, 39 Harbor Street, Port Antonio, across from Bonneview Hillfoot. Palette's Collection, where your dollar of values more planning a party club night out stage show a gospel concert or even a business sales event let styles fm be a part of your promoting tool take advantage of our low price promotion packages with commercials interviews giveaways reviews and much more we have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160 styles fm for the most effective way to exploit your marketing dollar Join Sister P every Thursday morning on Styles FM 96.1 from 9 a.m. to 12 midday. Sister P giving you spiritual vibration. Styles FM. <laughs> 